Thank you. Now let's bring in Danny because weather conditions in this area are really not helping these firefighters at all. It's hurting them. Extreme fire behavior because of how dry and windy it is. We're hearing a lot about Santa Ana winds uh, impacting this fire. So what is that exactly? It's a common occurrence this time of year, especially high pressure sets up over Nevada or Utah and winds rotate clockwise around an area of high pressure. So what that does is send around a northeasterly wind to Southern California. Now that wind coming right off the desert so it's very warm, very dry. And then wind tends to speed up going over mountaintops in between the mountains. It speeds up with that tightening gradient essentially. And so you're getting really gusty winds that are warm and dry. And of course that helps to dry out the ground. It fuels the fire, it fans the flames. And we're talking really gusty winds today up to 30, 40 miles per hour. But at times they can get up to 50, 60 miles per hour with those Santa Ana winds. Today you see the red flag warning in place through much of Southern California. Here's a look at the Woolsey fire and the latest stats over 93,000 acres, 30% contained. We have 435 structures destroyed, 57,000 threatened in this area. Of course, the firefighters priorities are protecting life and property. And today, unfortunately, Mother Nature not going to help out. They could use a little of what we're seeing in the southeast, and that is humid conditions with the rain chances increasing. I'll have more on that coming up.